my paper's uh, review article on epigenetic aging clocks. Epigenetic aging clocks allow us to get a bit of a glimpse into the past of an organism, try and figure out how much stress it's been placed under, how long it's been alive. So looking at not just how humans age, but how other animals age. That's pretty important work because how those model animals age, we can use the insights we get from them for us sometimes too. We're looking at methylation sites and seeing which ones correlate to various diseased or aged states. And then we are summing up hundreds of thousands of these sites, looking at which ones are the most significant and compiling them into one clock. I was interested in epigenetic aging clocks back in high school. That was one of the first papers I ever really tried to work on, looking into them and figuring out what they were. And then in longevity class, I said, wow, I can go back and look at them even more, see what's happened in the years since I took that high school class and mentioned them. I, I just think they're really fascinating. I learned a lot about how to write scientifically in a manner that's more easy to read, you know, be more considerate of my audience, try and make something that people actually will enjoy. And given that I'm interested in public health outreach as part of my future career, that's gonna be really important.